Okay, let's start from the top. I want you to have a good idea about what's going on in general with computers. What's going on in general with computers? And I want you to think of four things in answer to that question. One, what's going on with computers is hardware. What's going on with computers is software. What's going on with computers is networks. And what's going on with computers is data. Those are the four main components. So what's going on with, 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 with um, computers? Hardware, software, networks, and data. Let me talk briefly about each one of those now. We'll go into much more detail about them as we go through the course. Let's start with hardware. Hardware is probably the most familiar to you because that's what you go and buy when you buy a, a smartphone or you buy a computer or you buy any kind of digital piece of equipment. It's the physical stuff. It's the physical stuff that makes computing possible. Now, without going into a lot of detail, you can imagine that there's a lot of things that are necessary. Some place to store information, some place to do the processing, some place to, you know, to, to run the commands, lots of power consumption needs, maybe something to run the video screen, right? Those are all the bits and pieces of, of hardware. From our standpoint, the hardware is really um, most necessary in order to make what we really want to have happen, which is software. Hardware is the physical stuff. Software is the non-physical stuff. Software is the instructions that tell the physical stuff how to change, how to, how, to, how to store different things, how to put different bits on the screen. And all that leads to some goal that we have. So what's up with computers? What's up with computers is their hardware. They're physical things, they're physical devices that allow instructions to run. What's up with computers? What's up with computers is software. Software is, a, software is a set of instructions. It's the logic that tells the computer what to do towards some result that we want to have happen. What's up with computers? Networks. Networks are the interconnections between one computer and another. Now, technically speaking, networks are no, no different than, or just a form of hardware plus software. But from our standpoint, they're very important because a lot of what happens in computers happens because of networks happens because of small computers, yours, mine, everybody else is all connected together into these larger communicating networks where we can create programs that are much bigger than anything that could happen on our individual computers. And of course, we can communicate with the rest of the world through our computers because they're communication devices. Hardware, software, networks, and finally data. Data, and I'll usually mostly be talking about data as information, but let me start out with this word data because that's what they say in computer land. Data is the bits as they say. Data is the information that's stored inside the computer. A video that you play on your computer, this video that you're playing on your computer, is data. The numbers that you put into a spreadsheet are data. The words on the web page, that's all data. So as far as computers are concerned, all bits of data are created equal. They're all represented the same way, and the computer is there just to move them around and manipulate that data, maybe add two numbers together, that's a data manipulation, or take the video off of the hard drive and display it on the screen, that's also a data manipulation. So data, which we'll cover in an entire segment of the class on information, is the stuff. It's the information. It's, in the end, what we actually want the computers for so that we have a place to put our information, our data, and so we have a way of getting it back out towards some goal, a goal of entertainment, or a goal of education, or a goal of calculating the price of gold in Zimbabwe, or whatever it is we have as our goals. So computers consist of hardware, software, networks, and data. Hardware is the physical stuff. Software is the instructions. It tells the physical stuff what to do towards some result, towards some aim that we have. Networks are the way that our computers communicate with each other, making, in effect, supercomputers, larger and larger conglomerations of computers all talking to each other, sort of like societies. And finally, data, which is the stuff, the stuff that we care to store, the, care, the stuff that we care to put into our computers, and the stuff that we care at some point to get out, and the stuff that we care to manipulate in some way.